<laughs> I, got, I got a lot of experience now I've been in some some big fights um, and it was just concentration just to, that's all just required is to stay calm um, and uh, keep, stick, stick to stick to the, the plan um, the plan worked from the first round onwards you know for a spanner in the works in the last round with the shoulder um, dislocating but um, it's new territory there for me, so I wasn't quite sure what, what the shoulder's capable of, but uh, it made for, for a lively ending. Um, gave, gave Chris the only chance, maybe, to, to have landed something. He, did, didn't, he obviously didn't manage it, but uh, I quite enjoyed it. You know, it looked good for the pictures. I'm glad that the shoulder looked definitely popped out, so that, you know, um, everyone was clear. Commentators, really run over there, they didn't quite pick it up at the time. Disappointing, but... Uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll make sure that it's, uh, it don't happen again, so uh, we'll, uh, we'll be all right. And, um, in terms of in the tournament, um, I think it will be the toughest test yet. Um, but he's, uh, he, he's nowhere near a, a step too far. You know, we, um, I've, I've, my, my name's been linked to, to, to Callum a long time now, so uh, you know, I've seen him fight numerous times over the years. Um, I feel I'm in the form of my life. I'm boxing better than ever. Um, I don't see um, Callum posing a problem for me on fight night. Obviously, we've got to be on on our A game, but we know how to beat him. Um, we're getting that stuff off in the gym already, and like always, it's just it's just another fight. And if I go out and perform how I know I can, um, stick to the game plan, um, he'll be a, a another comfortable win. So uh, so far. Uh, the tournament's gone to form book. We had one and two seeds in the final uh, for the cruiserweights, and the number one seed came through. And uh, I don't, um, I don't envisage anything different uh, this time around. Callum, the only panic I had was the night it happened. I, I kind of was worried that it'd keep him out the final, and you no, know, without George in the final, it takes the world title out the final as well. And that's what that was the, one of the main incentives for entering the tournament. But you no, know, I can't base my chances and base my game plan on facing an injured George Groves. I've got to expect, you know, fully fit George Groves and I believe he is. I don't believe he rushed back just to satisfy me or anyone else. I think he, he's the champion. He's the man in the driving seat. So I do believe he'll be healed and you know, that's what I want. I want to beat the best in the world and want to become the best in the world and I believe by beating George I'll do that. Final word. I've been I've been waiting at, that, at the stage for a long time. I've seen a lot of hype trains go past now in my time. So um, you know I'm not fussed about favourites and whatnot. I think I think Callum might have been the favourite before the tournament started. So um, uh, it it doesn't always be the be or end or um, if you're going to look at things objectively and uh, and be truthful and not bias and obviously the experience and the momentum which is even more important is obviously in my favour and I think that makes me favourite um, it's going to be a big a big step up a big, big night for both of us but it's a big step up for Callum um, come the final in Saudi Arabia next month and uh, you know it made the best man win but uh, I'm, I'm sure it's going to be me the last one